a lot of great things about New York, right? Which is why it was just ranked as one of the best places in the country to raise a family. News 12's Christopher King is in Huntington tonight, right by a sign that says it all. Christopher. That's right, Rich. This sign pretty much speaks for itself. Huntington, a great town to live, work, and raise a family. Now, we speak with people who say it isn't just Huntington that's a great place to live, but Long Island and New York overall. I would love to have a family on Long Island. Nicole Kent says she moved back to Long Island precisely because she'd like to start a family here. I think it's a great place to raise children. Wallet Hub ranked New York State number two in the nation, right behind Massachusetts for best states for families. I grew up in Plainview and I had a really good experience growing up in Plainview. Kent says there are lots of opportunities to do just about anything. There's lots of community programs. There's lots of recreational programs. Our schools are fantastic. How about taxes? Our taxes are high because our schools are fantastic. Yeah. Wallet Hub gave New York a score of 61.81. They use metrics like family fun, health and safety, and affordability. Affordability is a different story. I live paycheck to paycheck. Sherry Maniello says living in New York, especially on Long Island, can be pricey. But I still like living here. And she raised three children here. Is New York State a good place to raise a family? I think so. And she wouldn't dream of living anywhere else. High quality of education for relatively low tax dollars, although I think people would probably disagree with me. Now you get a little bit each way. It seems like, Christopher, if Massachusetts and New York rank at the top, what's the worst? Well, Rich, I knew you'd ask me that, and may I have the envelope, please? Drum roll, thank you. The answer is Mississippi. Wallet Hub, unfortunately, gives Mississippi low scores for health and safety and education. We're live in Huntington. Christopher King, News 12, Long Island. There you have it. Thank you, Christopher. Well, lots of mixed reaction to this on social media. How about this? More than 700 comments on our Facebook page alone. So here's what just some of you are saying tonight. Velma, uh, she's not buying the report. She says, I find that hard to believe. Michael agrees, posting New York should be in the bottom 10. If it weren't for the beaches, it would be dead last. But Rosalie sticking up for the Empire State, saying, love the diversity of people, the theaters, museums, parks, beaches, and the opportunity to expose children to these wonderful advantages to living in New York. Lifelong New Yorker and always will be. Susie cheering on Long Island in particular in the comments section. I love New York, especially Long Island. We get what we pay for. Close to Manhattan, close to world-class beaches, not far from ski mountains, and we get four seasons which we love. Keep the conversation going on our Facebook page.